name is Nikki Reinhardt, and I did Oliver Heron. Born in 1964 in Heidelberg, Germany, he attended the Ruskin School of Drawing and Fine Arts, which is part of Oxford University in Oxford, England, where he received his Bachelor's in Fine Arts in 1988. In 1991, Hunter received his Master's in Fine Arts from Hunter College in New York City. On July 16, 2012, he married his friend from Oxford, England, and his studio mate, Peter Crashes. And he first began as a painter until the death of artist, writer, and friend, Ethel Eichelberg, in 1991 when he began knitting out of mylar, which is a transparent plastic tape. Heron created these knittings as part of a series called A Flower for Ethel Eichelberg. And some of these nylon knittings in the series include Covered Coat, which he made in 1994, Raft, which he made in 1995, which is significant because of its design that looks like three fish that are swimming just out of reach of the water under ice and double rocker he also has this one which is called untitled around 1998 herring first began creating stop motion videos his stop motion videos are from when he said and knitted, he just, well, um, he just like let his thoughts flow. So he started making these videos. His videos are always open ended and impromptu so that they give off a dreamlike state of consciousness which each one progressing towards a finale that's unexpected or unpredictable. Around the late 1990s, early 2000s, he started playing around with what he calls areas of action. This includes dye spits, photo sculptures, um, human cutout, So he'd have dice fits either with two people or with one person. And as you can see, David and Chris, it's after they have like spit all this dye into the air and let it fall back on their face. And after multiple hours of doing this, he just take a picture of them. And it's just regular food dye that they'd spit. And with his photo sculptures, he'd snap hundreds to thousands of different photos and let them mod have a model in a certain pose. And then he'd just use foam that's cut to look like that person and cut the pictures out and create a collage with them. He has Leon, which is a Reed and Armand man, a self sculpture of Oliver, Gloria the Lean and Lady. He also used different colored papers to do it the same way. This is Alex, and this is Cheryl. One of his others is the human male and female cutout, where he would have humans stand in a certain pose. And he'd tape fragments from different areas, usually of a unique tone or color. He's like, these, it's cool versus warm. You have the male in all the cool colors and the female in all the warm tones. Or he'd do it where the male is put like a female, just with 
the male genitalia, and the female has all the male on her, just with the female genitalia. But it's all pictures, except for it's an actual human body underneath the paper. Later on, he also began what he called tasks. His tasks are interesting because they're basically at his gallery openings. He's always present at them. And he just has these tasks there that people can do, and some of them are quite interesting. This one is put as much clothing as possible from the pile that's on the floor on your body. This one is you make a bed, you pick a person completely opposite of you, you lay down in the bed with them, and you just talk about love. Um, this one was called Be a Victim of Duct Tape, where you stood it either against a wall, on a floor, somebody lifted you, and they just plastered duct tape everywhere to hold you up against the wall or down on the floor. And this one's called Kiss Somebody, noticeably. And as you can see, he has a bright pink paint that he put on his lip and he kissed the lady on the cheek. So it's a bright pink, very noticeable. And then these are the sources that we used. I used PBS Art 21. I used Oliver and Peter Facebook pages for some of the images and for their wedding date. I used a little bit of Wikipedia, not a lot. I used the Molstein Museum page for its recognition of Oliver Herring. I used the Fry Museum for its recognition and exhibit of Oliver Herring. And I used Oliver Herring Studio, which is his personal website, and I got most of my images from that. I also got a few of my images from Google Images. And that's my presentation.